Hi guys, it's Ray McGregor and today I will be ranking Glee relationship, relationships and friendships. So as you can see, the first um, couple is Brody and Rachel. Um, I didn't really know where to put them at first, but then I decided to put them in little shit, shouldn't have happened. They weren't cute, they weren't the back and forth, the not really knowing him, it just wasn't it for me and I put um old oh, oh, sorry sorry. The next couple is Bert and Carol. Um I gotta put them in Endgame Supreme Tier. Um I just think they're really cute. But I like I like how their relationship relationship developed. And then I put Quinn and Sam in good potential tier. Um we didn't get a chance to really see really see the relationship and then I put um Quinn Sam not Quinn um Brittany and Sam in Better Off as Friends tier, I put Finn and Quinn in Better Off as Friends, better off as friends tier, and then I put Rachel and Finn as um, Little Shit and it never happened tier, they just weren't, it, it was the back and forth for me, I couldn't do it, it just wasn't, it was just too much, you know, it was just too much, and then I put Puck, Puck and Finn in Puck tier, I just love their friendship, it's, they were always there for each other, understood each other like now I'm still not off like about the friendship. So next up is Sydney and Daniel just the part of his friends. I think that their friendship their friendship is needed um for Dar for Santana and her character development so yeah. Now next up is um Mr. Shu and Mrs. Pillsbury. I don't like them together. I don't like them individually so no <laughs> um yeah, you know, they shouldn't have never gotten together, they're not cute, they're not, it's not, it's, it's sad, I, I'm so, it's just sad. <laughs> um, I put um, Rachel and Quinn, great too, I love their friendship, I love how they kind of understood each other, they understood each other, they understood each other, they were honest with each other. I put Dave and Blaine and Nancy, their relationship was, we, didn't get, we, 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 really didn't get we really didn't get a chance to see their relationship unfold, so yeah. Then I put Tina and Mike in great high potential great high potential tier. I wish we could have gotten to see more of them. Um then I put Tina and Blaine as pretty office best friends tier. I just think that they were so much better off as friends. Them being a relationship being like having Tina fall in love with Blaine just wasn't I didn't like that storyline. Then next up is Brittany and Tina. They are so adorable. I don't know who else you thought it would have been in Supreme and Top Tier, but it's obviously them. Then I put um, Quinn, and I don't remember this boy's name. Please, someone tell me in the comments. I don't remember his name, but I do remember him. I just don't think that they were, they didn't get a chance to really grow and develop their relationship, so yeah. And next up is Santana and Dave. Um, I put them as never should have happened. They never should have gone together. Then they never should have gone together. But I understood why they did it. Then I put Lauren and Puck in good, no, no good, in, yeah, in good but had potential, had potential tier. I love their relationship. I love their, I love them as friends. I think they're really good as friends. Um, and then I put Santana and Quinn in Endgame tier. They are so adorable. They understand each other. They kind of are frenemies in a way. I love that. I love that about them. I think they're so cute. Then I put Blaine and Sam in Mantier. I think their relationship they didn't really get a chance to develop. Um, then I put Finn and um, Kurt in Great I love how their relationship developed and changed, and we got to know more about them both. Um, and then I put Rachel and Sam. And Matthew, we didn't get a chance to really see their relationship develop, and yeah, we didn't get a chance to see much of them together at all. Then I put so next up is Sam and Mercedes. I put them in great tier. I wish we could have gotten to see more of their relationship unfold. Um, yeah, and the next up is Blaine and Kurt. I put them in um, yeah, end games tier. I love them. I think they're really cute. They understand each other. They are. I just love them. I think they're really cute, and they're they're kind of made for each other in an aspect. And then I put, um, Puck and Quinn. I I, I, I kind of had a hard time to like figuring out where I want to put them, but um, I eventually, 
yeah, as you can see, I was having a really difficult time figuring out, but eventually I put them as better, as better off as friends. I think they're better off as friends, if I'm being honest. I don't think that they are... No. I just know. Then I put Rachel and Puck never should have happened. I don't think I need to explain that. If you watch back, you will see why. Artie and Brittany never should have happened. They... No, I think they were cute, but I just don't think that they never should have gotten together, to be honest. Um... Then I put, um, Jesse and Rachel. Nope, sh should have never happened. Mm -mm -mm, I just don't. So, uh, the so next up is Kurt and I think this, I think it's Sebastian. No. Actually, no, it's Blaine. No, no, no. Next up is, um, Mr. Shu and Holly. No. <laughs> the next up is Santana and Quinn, but off his best friends. And lastly is um, Satana and Sam. Alright, that's the end of this video. Bye, guys.